I have been working on a user interface built primarily through events for um, RPG Maker. Um, got my party members over here. Got my inventory here, which is going to replace the standard inventory. Got some mouse overs for the items. So right now I've got a raw state. Down in the corner you can see the yellow, 15 seconds. Got to cool down when I eat a steak. But before I eat that steak, I should cook it. So I'm going to go up to the campfire. Just use the campfire, it'll cook any food. So one of my steaks got cooked. I'll use it again. Now both my steaks are cooked. So now I've got two cooked steaks. Before I actually eat one though, let's just do this. I'm going to do a formation. Change the formation. The inter user interface actually updates all the events, all their stats. And I'm going to play with fire. Everybody got burned. So now we've got some damage to heal with stakes. So I go to eat the steak and it tells me everybody that's damaged, what their health is. I've got to feed my dog first. So he got a little animation. His health went up and my steak went on cooldown. And while I'm waiting for that, I also did a um, save button, brings it in here, brings it back. So basically I'll move most of the features here instead of through the menu. Unfortunately I haven't found a way to call formation except for Yanfly's party formation, which I really am not a fan of. Okay, now that the stake is back off cooldown, I gotta use my second stake. Now because Wolf's at full health, he no longer shows up in the list as somebody who can eat the steak. So I'll feed Eshka now. She gets the little heal animation. Her health is up. And I am now going to be out of stakes. I'm going to be probably building a lot more into this. Eventually I will write a tutorial on how I'm doing a lot of this. I don't know that I recommend it. There's a lot of eventing that has to be copied to every map that you use if you wanted to use this feature. But I'm getting real tempted to actually try it out.